later and 10 years later they get married why because he knew what they were about to pursue and you know you know some part like Gary Bud what's that number two so they are able to pursue it it means to follow and to catch up with and seize and what happened so we ought to be doing what pursuing God well I'll get I'll get this please read this together I must pursue God before Pursuing goals. We got that thing backwards. I'm a, we want to pursue goals and ask God to bless them. Instead, when I pursue God, goals are included. Come on now. When I pursue God, whatever I need it for, it's already included. But I, when, when I'm really serious about pursuing God, goals will be attained. Get this next one. It's time for us to start doing what? Pursuing. See, I'm telling you, believers, Days of being average, days of being mediocre, days of being ordinary are over. It's time to be extraordinary and receive and pursue God's best. It is not God's best for us to always set accept less than his best. What? Recent praise for all. Now, here, this, this, let's talk about this now. Because I know that, that and, and my, uh, my wife does, does a wonderful job of this. When I, when I share with her on Saturdays what we're going to talk about, she's like, well, I hear that. But how do you do it? So, so how do we go back in and, and literally pursue God? How do you do that? Some folks say, well, I go to church, boy, I pray, boy. Yeah, yeah, but what are some tangible steps to make sure we are pursuing God? Here's our last part here. What's pursuing God? We start by doing what? Trusting, trusting God. If I really want to pursue God, I trust him. I trust him more than my job. I trust him more than the doctor's report. I trust him more than what I got on tweet. I trust him more than what the lawyer said. I trust him completely. Now, once we go back in and start trusting him, what do we do? We do what? Live to what? So because I trust him, I'm going to now honor him. Now, that's a, now here's the point. What does honor mean? Honor simply means, look at that second one, it means to weigh heavily. To weigh heavily. To weigh heavily. When we honor God, it means his word weighs heavier than my opinions. It means his word carries more weight than what I want to do. When I honor God, it means his word Weighs more than my opinion and what other people say. Let me make this clear for you. I, I, back during the time when I told you when I went, went to Erica's graduation in, in, uh, in St. Louis, and she had told me that she was, you know, she said, you know, Daddy, you know, I got a friend. I'm like, well, all right. So we go out there to the graduation, flying halfway across the world, across the United States. And you know, and that composition of people would never be in the same place again. So I'm trying to get a picture with all the family members that are there. And the whole time, he's there, Daddy, Daddy, I want you to meet somebody. I'm like, oh yeah, I, 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 so y'all get here, we gotta get this picture, because we will never be together again, and it's true. We were in that same compilation, never again again. Here again, Daddy, I want you to meet somebody. I said, I said, all right, I'm trying to get a picture of your graduation. Yeah, I got to stand there, I can't see your head. So then here is my wife, baby. She wants you to meet somebody. I said, baby, I'm trying to get a picture. So we had to get, all y'all stand right there. So we took the picture. Then I had a chance to meet this young man. So, you know, and you know how it is when, you know, she comes up there. Daddy, I want you to meet Kessler. And so I said, how you doing, sir? Met, shook his hand, did the front handshake, good. I said, well, tell me about yourself. He said, I graduated with you know, almost straight A's. I'm like, what? He said, I've been accepted medical school. I said, what? I said, so I did so. So, so, so the point was, but, but I appreciate it. That my opinion weighed heavily. So she wanted me to meet her boo. Well, the baby, who's a free spirit, also wanted me to meet her boo. She's in Chapel Hill, and I told y'all she got mixed up 
with this wannabe rapper. And this boy came, we had a basketball game. This boy came in with his pants hanging down and walked up in here and he'll raise his hand up, what's up, dog? And I'm like, man. So, and I shook his hand. He was like shaking like a fish. I said, like, what? I tried to shake it and take it off. So I, I told, I, I, I went to her, I said, baby, I love you. This is not the one. Well, what happened? She stayed with him for a while, got into a rap video. She sent me a little video. She's up there bouncing her head. And you're up there, yo, 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 yo. And you're just bouncing her head. Well, praise God. Three, this boy moves to Chapel Hill. She's in school in Chapel Hill. That boy didn't have a job. Tell me he going to rap. But three months later, my baby sent a message. He had to go. He wasn't who I was anymore. Why? I praise God. Because I didn't have to. My, my words didn't have, it, it was not straight away. <laughs> but it did pay off after a while. So, that, so now she got a boy, that, that, that now she got a boot that has businesses over in Dubai. What? So the idea was, wait heaven. So when I'm pursuing God, trusting Jesus, and all this time, y'all know been praying for Sister Lisa. She got her boo. So in about three weeks from now, she's going to be Miss Boo. And then she's going to pray. Now, I had Bishop and all of us said, no. Sister Lisa just might go get married anyway. But the idea was, the idea was, but, but the honor means you let it rain heavily. So if I want to do this, but God's word says don't, I go with what God's word says. I, understand, I, want, I feel like I'm going to do this. But God said to this, I'm going to let his word wait heaven. So we pursue God by what? Trusting Jesus. What's the next one? Honor God. Honor God. Well, how do you honor God? God, I yield to you. I yield to you. I admit what you said is true. So whatever your word says, I know it may, it may not make sense in the natural. I've been fishing all night long. I, I'm tired. But you say go out to the deep. I'm going to cast my neck out of the deep. And I'm going to leave right now. I'm going to have so much, fish, so many fish that I need some other help to bring them in. Yes. Honoring God. Living. And then lastly, by doing what? We mature by doing what? Yes. Now, just be clear. Lastly, by just helping others. Don't assume because you had it, you're supposed to get it. Flower. Don't assume because, you, what do you mean? I have to, we have to be spirit-led and spirit-directed. I end on this, I told you all this story before, and I, we, we check on it all the time. I told you all before, my wife was down there in Atlanta working, and she had a friend. Her college roommate had a sister who was always in financial need. And would always go back in here and go back and hit my wife up it. Same time every month. She would not, my wife would not hear from her until the 25th of every month. Not the 24th, not the 22nd. 25th when bills were doing late, hit her up. So what wife had it, she had big crib drive down there and it's murder. So she didn't write the check. And she said, one day God spoke to her and says, if you keep writing a check, Without checking with me, I will dry up your resources. So now every time we get ready to give, I'm like, baby, have you heard from the Lord? And I work real hard. I want stuff drying up now. So, so, I just, so I'm saying just because you have it does not mean you're supposed to give it. Sometimes the best thing you can do is help them change their mindset. So that now they change their mindset, they can have what you have because they're doing what you did and trusting like you trust them, believe like you believe, or acting like you become, and confess like you confess. And I want to pursue God. I'm starting off by trusting God, honoring Him, and also helping to Him. So here's the point here. The, the point here is, so don't get mad with people who are believers who don't seem like they're growing in their journey. They have just not made up their mind to pursue God. And I'm saying, so what do we do? We keep praying for them. We keep loving on them. We keep confessing over them. Because we say, God, I thank you right now. The strongholds in their lives that are keeping them from pursuing you have been pulled down in the name of the Lord. And one day you're not going to have to beg them to go to church. 
One day they'll show up at the 20th anniversary of the church. One day they'll just come and they'll be needing you and say, I got to get here to learn what the word says because I got to eagerly pursue God for myself. I, I don't care. I, and many of us have found out fussing is not going to get them to church. Arguing is not going to get them to church. Cussing is not going to get them to church. Being all mad and not speaking, in fact, they have it for the silence, is not going to get them to church. You got to make sure that what you're going to do is you know what God told you. And you stay, you keep on trusting God. You keep on honoring God. You keep on helping others. And after a while, in your overflow, one day they're going to come and say, I got to go and wait. So don't get mad. You just keep doing what God told you to do. See, our role is just to plant the seed. Our, it's not, see, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you it, was, it was so liberating when I finally got hold of this truth. I, I went back and saw what Paul was saying in the book of Corinthians. He says, I have planted Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. We're trying to get an increase. Oh, I'm telling you whether it is two here or 20 or 200 or whatever, we're going to lift up the word in here because I'm supposed to plant. God, and somebody's going to water, but God's going to give the increase. And that's why some folk in here now are stronger with God than they were before because God has had some increase in your life. And just like God gave increase in your life, God hadn't given up on them. So, don't, so I, I, if they are still in the bed when you get home, in the same position, watching the same TV show, you go back there and say, the blessings of the Lord make us rich, and he has no sorrow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't you go in there tonight. And you know if he had been there, he was talking about you. No, 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 you go back in. And you just continue. Trust Jesus. Continue. Honor God. Continue to help others. Nobody's coming to the Lord being beaten up with the Bible. You're going to go back and then you're going to leave church and you're going to go home with the attitude? Cook. What you want? Then just the burning. You think I'm going to cook something else? I'm going to get church. You better sleep. No, no. You got to go back in and trust Jesus. Honor God. Help others. They, are they where you want them to be? No. Would you stop doing it? I'll tell you this what you learn. You got to start learning to start confessing Call those things which be not as though they are. God, I thank you. My whole household is saved. I thank you. We all come together every Sunday. I thank you. We pray together. I thank you. We believe together. I thank you. We worship together. I thank you. We try together. In the name of Jesus. Now, here's what happens. As soon as you start confessing, they may get worse. You just keep on believing. You got to have action that line up with beliefs that I know with confessions, and after a while, there's always power of alignment. Don't be playing these little passive, aggressive games. Something, they stayed at home, and something happened. Well, you know if you've been to church, it wouldn't have happened. No, no, let me say now, you, you trust God, Jesus? Honor God, help others. It's, 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 I'm saying, because it, we, God does not look at us where we are. He sees us where we could be and should be and would be. It's time for believers to start looking at other folk about where they should be, where they could be, and where they would be. So what you start doing? Start leaning out the top on the bed at night. I say leave the top on the bed at night. After a while, they're going to put the top on and come with you. <laughs> After a while, they, I, I, I'm saying they put whatever it is. Go home to car and, and let them know. I, I got your Bible. I'm not you gonna read. Don't let me say. Don't be saying I got your Bible. Well, like you gonna read it anyway. No, you know you, you just have the Bible. Trust Jesus. Honor God. Help others. Your Bible I had it. I had it five years ago. It ain't been cracked open yet. No. Trust God. Honor God. Help others. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you right now. In Jesus' name for being so wonderful, so kind, so awesome. Thank you for being the wonderful, amazing God that you are. 
God, we are, we are so eager to pursue you. We are just so concerned about making sure that we are doing all you have called us to do in the name of Jesus. To be who you called us to be, to live like you called us.